Hey Trekkies, welcome back to another video here on TXD Track Time. Trekkies, please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Trekkies, the women's 400 meter hurdles in Jamaica. What a special, special, special bunch of athletes. One moment I throw to X athletes, and the moment I throw to X athletes, Y athletes say, no, 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 hold up, it's my turn. <laughs> so I have to be looking back over there. But all in all, Trekkies, this just bodes well for you know Jamaica's potential at meddling at the world championships in the women's 400 meter hurdles and i'm excited so who is this video about today well janeve russell you know she has been doing exceptionally well not leading into you know luzerne trackies i have to um, touch on this particular topic right now leading into luzerne trackies you know looking at the lineup i was like okay Anjanette Knight is coming off a new PB, running 53.26 seconds. Jenny Russell was still running, you know, 53 sevens. And of course, Dalila Mohammed is a caliber athlete. You never count her out trackies. And, you know, former world record holder as well. So she's always going to bring the fire, right? So in this, you know, my lead up, I'm like, okay, I want to see what Anjanette Knight, you know, will be able to do, you know, in this race. Will she be pulled to a much faster? at a time but as i said you know when i talk about one jamaican athlete in a particular event the other one them say hold up hold up we're still here you know what i mean so jenny russell said La, uh, stop 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 did you forget about me and i'm like how dare i jenny russell took the win track is running 53.65 seconds um dalila mohammed was second 54.01 seconds and anjanet knight was third 54.13 seconds now you know these athletes are running back-to-back -back races tracky so you know clearly you know some of them may be you know affected by the consistent travel plus of course you know the back-to-back -back fast racing you know day after day you know what i mean but still what impresses me you know about Geneva Russell in this particular instance, that is 53.65 seconds. Now, Chuck is if I hop in back to earlier in the season when Geneva Russell, you know, was looking a shot of herself and she could barely, you know, dip below um 55 seconds. And I was, you know, a little concerned, wondering, okay, you know, what's going on with Geneva. But in the back of my mind, I said, you know, I remember what happened last year. Geneva is gonna get it when the time is right and come to the championships as a Jamaican champions of course and perform well and so she did tracky she came to the championships and won running 53.75 seconds but again what impresses me is the consistent run that i've seen Geneve on since then since then she's posted a 5372 and now we are seeing a 5365 now why is this impressive to me Again, if you listen to all of the um, MVP athletes, or even if you look at the performances, Tracky, save the ones that are possibly trying to get a qualifying standard time to the world championships that haven't gotten it yet, whether it's a height, distance, you know, throw, you know, those ones will be trying to get their best performance out right now. But for the ones that have already made it, Trackies, they're currently, you know, in training, currently, you know, reloading Trackies. So if this is a reloading, you know, Jenny Russell, um, what's going to happen at the world championships? You know what I mean? Am I going to see Jenny Russell, you know, in PB shape, um, at the world championships? You know, you know, I kept talking about Anjana because I was looking out for her from last year. I won't lie. Um, in terms of huge potential in the event, but you know, it seems as though, you know, when you start looking at one athlete, you tend to overlook another kind of thing. But Jenny Russell, you know, has been quietly, you know, working hard. And this consistent run that she's on track is plus thinking about, you know, Stephen Francis saying once an athlete makes the team, you know, he's looking for them to medal. So he's making a point this year. I saw the intent in the words he was saying that, listen, most of the athletes that are going to make the team to the world championships are going to come from MVP. That seems to be what happened. <laughs> Shocking everybody. You know what I mean? And of course, he's like, listen, once you make the team, you're looking for a medal. So, yes, um, am I going to dismiss the rest of the world and, um, based on what's happening with, with, you know, Femke Ball? No, not at all. But still, of course, we have to, you know, hype up our chances as it relates to, you know, possibly meddling again. 
I do have all three athletes making it to the final trackies and Geneve Russell, in my opinion, has really, you know, shoved herself um to the top of the roster in um to you know hopefully medal amongst the three Jamaicans that have made the team. Honestly, I love um the consistency. I love consistency more than anything. You know, one of um fast times um don't really get me a lot of times. I want to see you consistently um run those times, and that's what makes me impressed. So me seeing her run, you know, 53 so consistently, especially back to back. Let's not um forget that part. The traveling is also on her legs as well, and she's still performing well. It tells me that Geneve Russell, come world championships, is gonna be on fire. I am dying to see, you know, Geneve Russell come and medal at the world championships. As a matter of fact, if Jamaica can squeeze in more than one medal. <laughs> I would not mind, you know, I can get greedy sometimes when it comes to our athletes, but what can I say? Um, they are, you know, impressive. And right now, you know, as it relates to the ranks, you know, at, um, across the world in terms of the women's 400 meter hurdles, yes, at all times, we are looking out for Kem Fem Kebal. She stays doing crazy things um, so far this season in the women's 400 meter hurdles. But you know what? I'm wondering how many spots, you know, that leaves because Sydney McLaughlin seems to, Leveroni, sorry, seems to be focusing on, you know, the flat 400 meters doesn't seem as though it is the intent to try to double or do anything crazy this year so with that said trackies where does that leave jamaica where does that leave jamaica that leaves jamaica in pole position in my opinion to grab two medals because if sydney naga runny right the other athlete that has run you know faster than a jamaican Britton wilson so far this season she has run 53 2 3 and she is not taking up a spot in the hurdles because she, she ran the 400 at her trials which means that she's gonna go to the world championships in the 400 meters so who does that leave? And Jeanette Knight right now is third ranked based on times. We still have Shamir Little, of course, Dalila Mohammed. Um, but again, the gap is not that big in terms of what Geneve Russell and Rochelle Clayton also bring to the table. So again, in my opinion, all three Jamaicans make it to, you know, the finals. But Geneve has a sure, sure, solid shot to um make, you know, win a medal for herself. Chakis, you tell me, though, in the comment section, based on this consistent run of performance that you've, you're seeing from Geneve Russell, are you hoping to see a faster Geneve Russell, you know, at the World Championships based on, you know, everything that we're hearing from a coaching perspective, what they're working on each race? Um, Tell me your thoughts. And again... Um, the fact that she looks faster and faster every race to me is also very impressive. Also, let's not forget, you know, they keep saying that this track is not the best track. It's a slow track. Um, so if you're able to consistently run fast, plus also pull out your fastest performance, um, on a slow track, you know what I mean? What's, you know, to come again, once everything starts to click for the world championships, I'm excited for Geneva. So I'm excited for all our athletes. But again, when I see medals, I go, my eyes go starry shining. <laughs> Anyway, as I said, sound off in the comment section and let me know what you think her chances are. What do you think about this most recent performance as well? Like the video and of course, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.